Ooh. 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 Wow. Okay. Wow. That, Pez, was a good old-fashioned dicking. My God. Welcome back to the tubs. TJC is powered by an early Cred. Tub. An early oh, tub. that is an early tub. Oh, we can still hit the tub. We can still make the we can still make a late dinner. Let me tell you, I'm going we to still make the last race at Morfittville. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like a matinee show to me. My God. And, you know, Pez, at least our team had the courage to be dumped out early by rain, sort of. And because, you know, net run rate and stuff. At least our team had that courage to not be embarrassed like that. Wow, that was a good old-fashioned dicking. Anyway, um, TGC is powered by Cred. Cred paydays are bringing insane rewards. That felt like a reward for someone. We said in the preview before, Pez, that this game was all about Alex Hales. And you know what? Alex Hales can pay any bill he wants. Any bill he wants with cred. Credit card, phone, electricity, any sort of utility you want. Any bill you like, you can pay that with cred. And cred has been powering TGC all the way through this World Cup. I feel like someone has been powering India through the World Cup and they stopped. They stopped at the end, at the Lights beginning out. of this game. That was fucking, that was an annihilation of which I've not seen in a hot minute. Actually, There's since Pakistan beat England by 10 weeks in that series beforehand. <laughs> Mate, Pax Britannica's back, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. The Empire Strikes Back. I was barely finished and my lunch. I tell you what, ahead of the game... It, for me, it, 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 was, it was heart and view count India, head England. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't anticipate a hilarious dicking. Oh, my God. Like, a, gave a, up. Where, where there are now several moments of, mm. of fucking Benny Hill theme <laughs> hilarity <laughs> uh, for, for India, unfortunately. Yes. yes. Now, there's going to be some pain. In India, I understand, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're well, gonna, you're gonna, ha- you're gonna have to take yeah, it. Shut the fuck up and join of, the club because of what that was. Yeah, that was something else. Uh, uh, you know, the final ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 over be- before that, Butler down the ground six, and the next one. Suyu Kumar Yadav actually spoils the ball into the rope. I don't know which was more uh, sort of which, – which felt better. Yeah. Um, I feel like he had a late booking for dinner. He sort of caught it and threw it over. Let's get out of here. Let's not, let's not worry about a change of batter. Like He comes a new strike. No, no, no. Let's, let's just get this over and done with. I mean – Mo, Mo, Mo Shami. That's, that's the moment of the game. Mo Shami has underestimated his, his, his shoulder work in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, the, or, or a, a bit of wrist stuff he's been, wrist he's been working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He calls it the lazy arm, the sleeper. Doesn't he? <laughs> right over Boobie's head. He was oh. sitting on his head for half an hour. <laughs> Fucking hell. When you sit on your head for half an hour, yeah, yeah that's right. It yeah. does feel different. It does feel different. It's like someone else is doing it. He goes, "Is it? Uh, you know, I mean, full the fullest of credit to England here. That was so uh, impressive. That was so impressive. It, it, is it the best white ball mm-hmm. partnership, mm-hmm. opening partnership, or all time partnership? Let's start with T Twenty cricket. Let's move it to white ball cricket generally in a single performance. You mean?" Circumstances considered, quality of opposition considered, the yeah. general fucking context around sure. the, the thing. Uh, you know? Yeah, maybe. Like, I mean, because because mm-hmm. that wasn't – it wasn't risks coming off. Like, it, it felt like quite a, a thorough, composed dismantling. Not, clinical. Not, not um, much different from the way those two guys play. It, mm. they, they weren't just flinging the bat at the ball. Mm. Uh you know, willy nilly. It started from the first over where Butler caressed Booby K, his nemesis, through the offside a couple of times, then got him through the leg side of the last ball. That over thirteen off the first, and that was actually unders for most of the most of the yeah, game. Right. Most of the game, but Rishabh came out to the stumps. It all felt not helped. D- not I helped by Rishabh. I don't up like up at that. Don't it's, like it's that. A, it's nah, a, no good. I'm sure it's a plan. It's a well thought out plan. There's data points and shit, but it's fucking village. Yeah. Your yeah. opening bowler comes on the bowl. Yeah. And and your newly installed it's keeper threes, mate. It's threes. comes up to the stumps to yeah. keep to keep the best white ball batter in the world in his <laughs> crease. It's like, is that yeah. that's the idea? Yeah. 
as you said off air, throws the line and length of the bowler out. Yeah. Boovy K is basically neutered. He's de sexed. He's de sexed. Any opening bowler is de sexed. He, he got the snip. He got the snip before yeah. he came in to bowl. What chance did he have? Now, what we did see on camera you know, was it, well, we, saw, we saw Rishabh call for the lid. He was actually getting a pair of scissors for the snip. Indeed. Yeah. Mo Shami throwing it over Boovy K's head. He thought he was an adult. He, he'd been <laughs> snipped. He's gone down. <laughs> He hadn't gone through puberty mate, yet. Mate, mate. <laughs> At that point, I feel like India were teetering already because the onslaught from Hales in particular, who finishes onslaught. with at least seven sixes. At that, um, how many sixes did he finish with? He finished with seven sixes and, and three fours. 77 off 40. No, that's, that's not right. He got fucking more than that. Sorry, I haven't refreshed my page because, yeah. you know, I'm offline all of a sudden. Um, but, like... But so the game was teetering already, and then that moment they still needed like ninety to win. But it's like as soon as that happened, we both said like that's it, that's game over. No, it's the reverse of last it's, night. It's, you, hit, you hit the stumps, even yep. if there's a run out or not. Yep. you're going to win that game. Right. If you underarm the ball over your mate's head and they do all four run <laughs> in an international <laughs> fixture, and they walk and they walked the fourth when, run by the way. When, <laughs> when you didn't really need to underarm it either. Come was for. It, was it, <laughs> I mean, you know. You think about India and the stories of guys to get to that level, the amount of cricket they play, oh. the, the, the single-minded focus. You think about England, it's not even a top 10 sport. A couple of private school boys <laughs> knocking about. <laughs> Fuck, it's a funny winner. That's a great circuit for England. <laughs> Most of those boys would be watching fucking uh, oh, whatever, whatever's happening in the Premier League you, overnight. i got to tell you, Pez, another big moment was uh, was when Aksar Patel was bowling and then Hardik and Virat and maybe someone else on the boundary started to get the crowd great, going. Great We've got to get some fucking energy. Yeah. Let's get some energy. All of a sudden, the crowd's up. The crowd's yeah. up. There's fucking let's energy. Go, let's go. <laughs> Aksa, I'll bounce it halfway down. And then Butler bangs it yeah. over. I'll uh, put one of, in your half here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Butler just like walks down the wicket, just glove punches Hales. I thought he there's, smiled. There's a smile. Yeah, there's knew. a smile. He it's knew. just like fucking boom. Uh, now. Oh, man. That was Another just, point. Um, Ireland fuck. underrated. Yeah. I think we've been a, sleeping on Ireland. I think we have been. To be fair to them. Yeah. Uh, well, I think Australia were very unlucky not to get on because, you know, Australia could have beaten England in that game and then they would have made the semi-finals. Yeah, it's all about Australia who definitely brought as much quality as those two teams. Uh, <laughs> what about Adil Rashid, man, in the first innings? What, 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 did, he, what did he finish with? Four, one for 20, one for 20 or, four. or four. The Fuck, figures man. Be, be lie. And when he got Sky cool. out, that was big. That was fucking big. That that was, um like, for, that, that was, for me, that that was like the best spell I've seen seen or been engaged with this tournament which oh, yeah? um I, like I, i'm biased like yeah, as, of as a leg spinner but like it, you know he, he had he had a pretty quiet tournament to this point adil rashid yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple of big boppers at the crease that he was dealing with while sure. he was bowling sure uh and he bowled with um flight which mm. you don't see him do that much he slowed it up mm. because the wicket was taking spin mm-hmm yeah, guys like Kohli and Rohit and Suyakumar Yadav like regularly um, hitting the outside of the bat or yep. being turned inside out or um, nicking through yes. uh, through first slip. Yeah. It would have happened two or three Ro- times. Rohit got the uh, got the old pull, pull cue out a couple of times. That's right. Like he was the, he was uh, he was um, uh, cue ending them. Cue ending. Thank you. And uh, you know, so so one for twenty was not reflective of like the. Um, like the bamboozlement mm. in at a T twenty level, completely that, put the brakes on. And it. how important that was, given that Mark Wood was out, and how big he has been in the middle overs. Mate, you got like those 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 fucking small square boundaries. Yeah, and it's all right hander as some well. Takes fucking balls to throw yeah. it up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, anyway, well played. mate. Um, it was a great. It was just a phenomenal spell. It'll kind of be a bit forgotten, I think, after what happened after that. But that was uh, that, that, so. that kind of that sort of like turned the match. I felt. Yeah. You know, like if I'm gonna say. Something serious, and so there's a quick one about the difference between both teams here. I, I did feel like tonight, like fortune favoured the brave. Like, you know, England battered with freedom, with like clinical skill and plants, but mm-hmm. there was a certain freedom to the way they battered, which perhaps is afforded to you when you bat second and you know what you need to chase, sure. to be fair, not working out the wicket as much. Uh, but I did feel that uh, in India, the Indian top order, two blokes, little out of form. They've been scratchy. Yeah, um, were just circumspect. You know, they, they they didn't they didn't look to me like they were um, ready to take risk. You know, yeah. to, which I think I think you. It's easy to say in hindsight, but like I think you need to to overcome really good sides. It th- things have to work for you. Now, Sky took that risk. To be fair, yeah. he was batting freely and got out. 
Um, Rohit Sharma's 27 off 28 and Kar Rahul 5 off 5 is what you're talking about here. Um, and it's it's interesting as well when the – Zero was 50 off 40. He was, and he batted really nicely again in Adelaide. And Surya Kumar Yadav, I thought he was fucking about to unleash. I mean, Hardik Pandya, his last 50 runs come up 17 balls. Man, yeah. that was some clinical power yeah, yeah. hitting. That was seriously Oh, he's impressive. having a hell of a time in the sheds right now, believe me. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is one of the great uh, <laughs> reverses, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but look, when you've got – Punt batting six. Uh, no, wait. Punt was batting seven. Is that what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Punt's batting six and then Ashwin seven. Um, it does feel like um, it does feel like there's a lot of pressure on those guys at the top to do something in the power play especially because otherwise you're leaving so much work for Surya Kumar and, and Virat. And, uh, uh, you know, Rishabh and uh, – look, Ashwin's, Ashwin's a very fine batter, but you compare that to England side and I think they would have, made, would have had Moeen perhaps batting as low as seven. Sam Curran batting nine. They were trying to back load, right? I mean, Sky is just mm. almost unstoppable in the last five overs and yet they put him at four because he's in such form. Mm. They're like, well, let's hope he can go through. Mm. And that, I think that's why the rest of the guys probably drop anchor a little bit, just knock it around. If you can get Sky into the last five overs, then you're, you're a good shot. But that's quite high risk strategy well, when I, he's coming in at four. I mean, Hardik Pandya plays one of the innings of the tournament. Yeah. Hits 63 off 33, five sixes. Yeah. And they finish on a par score. Mm. So, like, that goes to show how far behind yeah. they were in the game, really. And also, I want to mention Chris Jordan, um, who bowled the last, he bowled three overs of the death of the end. He bowls over 16, 18, and 20. Um, he goes for 43 in the end. But, but given those overs, that's actually pretty clutch. And he takes three wickets. And, you know, we all talk about, like, momentum shift. If the last ball goes for six, you can take that into the bowling mm. innings. Well, when you, you got you, you, when you keep out of steps on his wickets. Oh, didn't he? He just <laughs> took, like, took one look at Chris Jordan and went, I'm kicking these over. <laughs> kicking these over. I'll kick him over, man. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, from there, it went downhill real quick because I feel like they just got themselves in a position where it was like, this is going to be a really good game of cricket. One, one, I mean, 170 should have been a good game. And then, Can I just check with you before we get to that? Can I check with you that that was your interpretation of India's batting too because, because th- that it was a bit too circumspect and a bit too cautious in the sense that mm. you can always say, well, hang on, they, England bowled well and they restricted their opportunities to do that. I just didn't get the impression that like, yes, of course in England you know, bowled nicely. Perhaps the plans were good and maybe that's why they didn't play shot. But I didn't get the impression that they were attempting to take risks. You didn't get the impression they were trying to get on top of England bowlers. No. Like when they did take a risk, it was almost like, so, like you know, Rohit took Curran down for a couple of balls. Yes. There, it was almost like he he was at his wits end. He needed to catch up. You know, they let they let it slide too much, and then he had to do something rather than yep. let's take the game to them. I just wonder yep. if that mentally they they were a bit uh, tight. Yeah, uh, I indeed. I agree with that analysis. I feel like there was a lack of intention to score our boundaries, especially yes. there was, uh, you know, it took a while. Like even even Virat and Rohit's partnership, whatever that partnership would have been, it would have been to, uh, fifty odd, and um, that came in the space of seven overs. So it's like it's it's sevens, but it's um you know, I guess and, and look maybe this ten we get victory is is not as big a gap as what that appears because it felt like with about six years to go, India almost gave up. I mean, the mm. game was over, which mm. is maybe more alarming. I mean, look, they didn't give up their professional players, but it just felt like they weren't running after the balls of the boundary. They weren't diving. There weren't a uh, change of plans in the field. They weren't you know, into the wickets. Uh, I mean, it, maybe maybe everything they tried didn't, didn't come off, but it just felt like that game was done as soon as um, Mo Shami undrummed the ball into row Z. I, I, you know, uh Having some familiarity with English psychology, that, that, that must be one of the most fucking satisfying <laughs> victories for so many reasons. Like be, yeah. every single per- neutral or non-English person, yeah. very much including us. When Pakistan was, win the game last night. Exactly, oh, was fuck. Absolutely <laughs> creaming themselves yeah, about yeah. a return bout of Pakistan-India. Yeah. And for the old empire to waltz on in and yeah. say, see you later, boys. New season, like, the crown's coming out this week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's right, the new season's dropped. You know, and to have the Benny Hill stuff happen from oh, India. like God And damn just it. the silencing of the crowd. Yeah. Oh, was, I mean, did you notice a few catches that England were taking? Phil Salt took one. Someone else took one on the boundary, and they, they were turning to the. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they didn't no, do anything to the no, crowd because they're just having a look. They're just having a look. Just yeah. like, you know, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, you know, it, it doesn't get much better. Nah. Like it's basically an away win. Yeah, and yeah. it's a win in the faces of everybody, and it's a reminder, and <laughs> yeah. it's a it's a dicking. And mate, the, the ten wickets and the captain hitting a six off the oh. last ball oh. over over for that said, you I'm can, sorry, uh, fuck. Can, mate, uh, you can only welcome, welcome to the pain, India. Like revel, revel in it with us. Oh, 
<laughs> it's it's fucking good. It's you, oh, you got to hand it. Like, got it hand was it a all. dismantling. That was that uh, was hitting them wherever yeah. the fuck they want. Zero answers. Mm. Should we get some questions going here? Yeah, you go on. Hashtag oh, a, couple, this, a couple of come in. Yeah, um, yeah, a few thoughts. Can I use cred to pay for clapping lessons off Pandya? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Wiley 69k leggies from Rashid. That's what you need. That's what you need. <laughs> Mate, the, the palms are fucking marching oh in my online God. here. England Twitter's uh, off. England Twitter's <laughs> on one tonight. Uh, fucking memes everywhere. I keep going here. I keep going. Why couldn't Ashwin get his, uh, he, well, it says man canned ball going today. Shame. Uh, is India overrated looking forward to the absolute meltdown in grad cricket a comment section after that massacre a <laughs> couple, of, couple of English scrolling on through <laughs> well make sure, I mean, make sure to like the video you if you're going to do that you know, you know. Um, can I say as, as a parenthesis here because it, it you know in many it's not our final video of the World Cup but in <laughs> in view count ways it yeah. is but, uh, well we'll see how we feel if we are covering the final of the World Cup <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I do I do want to say it, um <laughs> India gave us some great moments this World Cup. But, you know, they have, unlike our own country, they've brought a lot to the World Cup. Yeah. Mainly sponsorship. No, uh, yeah. like they, they've, they've brought a lot to the World <laughs> Cup. And, and, what they, and, and bringing that India-Pakistan match and colleagues innings or something that will stay with yeah. me forever. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and the vibe of India-Zimbabwe uh, and the way so many of the fans got around us with side mouth was, uh, was extremely heartening. Yeah, uh, for sure. And, for and sure. we have felt so much love through it. Unfortunately, they're going to have to suffer for the next few minutes here yeah. because they got absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, It's Coming Home being <laughs> sung for 40 years overs at the MCG on Sunday, which yeah. we're supposed to, supposed to absolutely piss down on Sunday, by the way. So it's going to be Monday, I'm guessing. Hardik on the Hindley Street circuit with head held high tonight, says Matthew Broadbent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a, lot of, a lot of people pointing out, you know, this is a bit of revenge for the BBL here. A lot of BBL experience that Indian, in, in that ah, English side. Maybe yeah. the Indians need to have a look at the BBL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson says, fuck me, is the 100 the greatest format now? It's the big brother getting revenge for the Gabber incident. A bit of Alex Hale's Big Bash stuff. Bit of Joss Butler captaincy gear. England will win the cup they'll win the ashes long live the king uh, <laughs> uh, uh, fair play there's a picture of the Ben Stokes incident on the street there and except that it's an Indian player on the ground oh yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. a little bit of how you going um India did enough, enough fast tweakers. Is the hundred good uh mm. no that was a historic thing that's probably not appropriate mm -hmm. uh a lot has been said about England since Brexit, economic and political failures, left, right and centre. But as Joss Knox at Final Six, it all became clear to me, this is what it was all for. The batshit debased confidence to do this. Fuck India, six points in a song. Uh, I saw Brexit and economics. I thought that could be that yeah, could yeah. be smart. Not yeah. really. Ah, well. um, what Asian century boys? Pack Bean versus Mr Bean in the final. <laughs> Well, what a great place to leave it. Uh, Gavin uh, Williams wrote that, to be fair to uh, Gav. The Gavin big, Williams. The big dance. It's coming on Sunday. It's Pac Bean versus the actual Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson against the other bloke that looks a bit like Rowan Atkinson sometimes. Uh, all right. Well, thanks as ever uh, to Cred for powering TJC throughout this World Cup. One game to go. We'll be pre previewing that final. We don't side mouth outside the MCG. We're going to get dripping wet, as the bowlers will be uh, in the tubs. Uh, a long old rinse. Getting a long old rinse in the tubs there. Uh, all right, thanks as ever for joining TJC. Cheers.